Hi, welcome to another video with uh, EuroPC. Today I'm going to show you uh, another program that's really good for recovering uh, lost files and data. For example, if you've accidentally deleted something, or your computer's crashed, or you have to recover something, then this program here called Recover which is the same makers of CCleaner and Defragler. I showed you them in my tutorial how to speed up your computer. It's by the company Powerform. And this program is the best thing, the best program, the best way to recover that lost data. So I'll just open it up and I'll show you what it's like. So when you first open the program up, it asks you, no, it shows you a, a wizard kind of interface which if you select this it will prevent it in future coming up with the wizard but for people not knowing a lot about computers then the wizard would probably be more helpful for you so you just click next and then it shows you some options and you can break down what you're specifically looking for to help recover, find it quicker and find it better and give it a more understanding of what you're looking for so you can choose to either recover a picture to search for deleted pictures, music, documents, video, compressed files emails or other files If you just hit next, once you select what you're searching for, it brings you to this next uh, window. And you can choose whereabouts you think that lost document was stored originally. And if you don't know, then just hit this option here, I'm not sure, and it will search your whole computer. And then once you've selected whatever one you're going to select, just press next. And here we have the option to enable a deep scan. And this, you should do this, it says here if previous scans have failed to find your files. Note that this may take over an hour on a large drive. So if you haven't found it the first time then go for this option and hopefully you can recover it with this. Once you've done that you just hit start and it will start searching your computer. I'm just going to show you uh, another way and sort of like another way of uh, starting recover because this is the wizard interface. I'm going to show you the actual program interface. So just, I'm going to hit cancel and this is the actual program interface here. So you can select what drive you want to look at and you can scan for files and scan contents and you can type in here an actual file name or path where you can type in the path where the file was stored or the name of the file that you want to recover and just take a look at the options to hear the options, we can change it to a lot of different languages. There's a lot of different languages supported there, which is really good. And we have some different views you can choose from. And here's the wizard that started up at the beginning. So if you don't want to go through a wizard kind of setup, then you can uncheck that and it won't do that. And here we have a button where we can just run wizard and here's the advanced settings, you can automatically check for updates saves you having to do it manually and you can save all settings to INI file so you can restore all your settings from the INI file and here we have the secure, secure overwriting so this means that I think if you have wiped your drive and do you remember how many passes you've done on it 
this um, gives you an option to let him recover know, you know how many passes it's trying to recover from. So that's the option is there. We have the scanning um, option, show files found in hidden system directory, so you can check that if you want to, show zero byte files, show securely overwritten files, deep scan increases the time. So that was the option that we were given in the wizard, enabled deep scan, so you can do it in here as well, in options. Scan for non-deleted files, for recovery for damaged or reformatted disks, you can check that if you want to and have an option here to restore a folder structure and here we just have about the program the version of it the type of it 64 bit or 32 bit, I've got the 64 bit obviously and there's the website you can get it from and I'll put a link in the description where you can download it so that's really all the program uh, does and again I said um, this is a good program for recovering your lost files and again it, it's free so it was great at recovering files and it's free so you can't get much better than that it's a good program so hopefully you enjoyed the video and you got to see closer what recover is like and hopefully if in the future you're trying to recover files you use this program and hopefully it works successfully for you and I'll see you later in another video thanks